My name is Rodney Hurst. I'm retired now. I'm an author. Uh, I wrote, it was never about a hot dog and a Coke in uh, 2008. It was published in 2008. The book is about sit-in demonstrations in Jacksonville in 1960, uh, which led to a very infamous but very little known um, violent day called Axe Handle Saturday. Uh, we sat in at the lunch counters at that time because of the kinds of prevalent uh, Jim Crow and racism that existed in Jacksonville as uh, did uh, exist in other cities in the South. So we sat in at the heretofore white lunch counter for two weeks. And on August 27th, 1960, we were attacked by 200 whites with axe handles and baseball bats. It's called Axe Handle Saturday by the press, but ironically the press, the local press in Jacksonville, Florida, opted not to cover anything about the sit-in demonstrations or any comprehensive coverage or give any comprehensive coverage to that Axe Handle Saturday day. I wrote the book in, um, started writing it in 2006. It was, um, took about two years. Uh, I was the president of the Youth Council in ACP, so the book is a first-hand account of what happened in Jacksonville at that time. Not only just the sit-ins, but uh, how I got involved in the Youth Council, NACP, and others uh, through my eighth grade American history teacher who was also the advisor to the Youth Council, NACP. So the book deals with the lead up to and inclusion of the sit-in demonstrations in Axe Handle Saturday and the aftermath, the fallout, and the residual impact of that day. I would want young people to understand what the sit-in movement was about, what the Civil Rights Movement was about, and what black folk had to endure and how we confronted and challenged the system. Take away the rich, uh, great legacy of, of black folk and black history. That legacy includes confronting a system that was comfortable with where it was and was comfortable with the, the hole that they had pigeoned black folk to be in. Mm -hmm. uh, and young people decided that enough was enough. Uh, we sat in at the lunch counters not to eat a hot dog and drink a Coke, but those lunch counters were visible vestiges of segregation. It was about human dignity and respect. These stores would accept our money in other, at other counters in that store, but they would not let us go and spend money at that white lunch counter. And we said that was insulting and disrespectful. But they can get it from Amazon.com and the usual online um, uh, stores. Uh, they can also uh, get it from my website, RodneyHurst.com, R-O-D-N-E-Y-H-U-R-S-T.com. And when they purchase it through my website, then it's personalized and I sign it. Real pleasure speaking with Thank you. Thank you very much.